Hey, this is Pete, or Kenshin1913, and today we are doing another Getting to Know Kenshin1913. Uh, this episode we're going to be talking about phones. This is mine, but it's not the phone that I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about novelty phones, that's right. One thing that I really enjoy is weird phones for some reason, I don't know why. But ever since the movie Dragnet, and now this is a recurring theme because I've talked about Dragnet before in my Yugo episode. But ever since Dragnet came out back in the day, the, uh, the character Pep Strebeck, who was played by Tom Hanks, he had a he had a uh, a hamburger phone that I really really loved, and uh, I uh, I just think it's yeah my hair is something's going on. Anyways, it's bothering me. Anyways, so he had this phone. It was a hamburger phone, and it was, you know, it looked like a hamburger, and then you opened it up, and there was the number, and it was like, oh, that's so awesome, and as a kid, I was like, that's so cool, that's like the coolest phone ever, and I was like, I gotta get me one of those, so, uh, years and years went by, obviously, I don't, I was a child, so I really didn't have any money to buy a hamburger phone, and, and, and when I eventually did have money to purchase one, I was like, mm, they. I was like, no, because it's gonna be stupid because it doesn't have call ID on it. It doesn't have, uh, you know, wireless. Wouldn't that be great to have a cordless, cordless hamburger phone? That would be awesome. But they actually don't sell any. So they do sell hamburger phones, but they're not. We'll get into that later. But they're not like, uh, you know, they're not as good as like a regular phone. Like, cause every phone in my house is pretty much cordless. So, anyways, um. <clears throat> Another novelty phone. Uh, so, okay, so let me continue with the uh, hamburger phone. So, uh, a couple years ago, I I don't know, maybe like six, seven years ago, there was this movie called Juno that came out with Ellen Page where she was this pregnant girl who uh, was having a baby from this other guy or from this kid. And uh, what I'm happening was she ended up having a hamburger phone too. So, the resurgence of hamburger phones continued. And the interesting thing is, or the messed up thing about it is, like, when you go look for, like, if you type in the internet and Google, if you type into that, you can you can look up hamburger phones. Everything pops up Juno, Juno, Juno. And it's like, what the hell? Why Juno? The thing is, it came from Dragnet first is what I'm trying to get at. But I don't mind as long as hamburger phones are around. So I've always wanted a hamburger phone. I might eventually end up picking up a hamburger phone one of these days. And look who it is. It's marshmallow. It's a marshmallow. Anyways, the other thing that I was going to talk about was the other novelty phone that I always loved from Wayne's World 2 was the Sports Illustrated football phone. Now, if you Google... Alright, get down, Marchie. Now, if you Google that, you can't find one. I can't find it. In the movie Wayne's World 2, alright, there was a scene where, <clears throat> where uh, Wayne... Is uh, having a dream, and he's talking with um, what the hell's his name, the dead guy. Oh God, I don't remember. Jimmy Page or no, not Jimmy Page. Jim Morrison. He's talking with Jim Morrison with a half-naked Indian guy. They're in the desert, and he's like, "How am I gonna? How do I? Because he's setting up to make a concert or whatever. He's trying to find out what to do with his life. So Jim Morrison says, "Oh." You'll know, you'll know that this is real because Garth's gonna get his Sports Illustrated football phone with the um, oh, what the hell was it? With like the uh, Sports Illustrated um, what the hell do they call them? The uh, swimsuit issue and his hockey's one hundred uh, Stanley Cup, a hundred years of glory or something like that. So, it, you know, in that movie, they never end up showing the phone, but I would have loved to see the friggin' Sports Illustrated football phone because that would have been cool. Now, I guess, you know, I've looked up uh, football phones, but the only thing you can find are, like, cases for your, your phone. And, and then you put them on there. But, you know, I don't want a friggin' case because, to be honest, I don't really follow football as much as I used to when I was a kid. So, it's, like, not worth getting a phone with my team, which is the Dolphins. It's not worth uh, putting putting a, a, a thing on there because... I don't give a shit, but I would love a football phone, a phone that, that's like a football, and then you open up, and then like, yeah, this is sweet, and uh, yeah, I just think uh, those kinds of phones are pretty cool, I don't know, are there other novelty phones out there, I don't know, We'd, I'd have to look them up, I know that they have phones for old people, where you plug it in on your, uh, 
your phone jack, your headphone jack on your thing, and it just picks up like a giant receiver, which is pretty, which I find kind of hilarious. Um, those are kind of cool, but I would never buy one. I mean, maybe when I get a little older, maybe maybe I'll eventually need one. But uh, I just find uh, that like uh, hamburger phones are really amazing. I'm surprised McDonald's didn't used to sell them back in the day. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? Burger King, and you can get your own like Big Mac burger phone or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I just love love those no weird novelty phones. So let's talk about novelty phones as my phone rings. Anyways, leave a message in the comments and tell me what kind of cool phones you like or weird stuff that you like. So this has been Genja1913. See you later. Bye-bye.